Hello everyone. Namaste. Welcome to our yoga session on Wednesday. So as we always do like sit in uh, Padmasan or Ardha Padmasan. What's very important is that your back should be straight. You can also sit in Vajrasan. Your hand in Chin Mudra. Close your eyes. Concentrate on your breathing. We begin our yoga session by saying three times O. Oh. Inhale. Rub your palm till it is warm. Put it in front of your eyes. Open and close your eyes two or three times. Touch your face, your whole body with love and affection. And slowly open your eyes. So now come in the standing pose. Today I will be showing you Sun Sanitation Variation 2 But before we begin, first stand straight And now, let us begin Sun Sanitation Variation 2 so breathe in, bend your knees, stretch your arms, breathe out, bend forward, your hands on the ground, breathe in, bend your knees, look forward, breathe out, and the plant pose. Use your core muscles. Slowly come down, flat on the ground, relax. Inhale, come in the cobra pose. Exit, in the mountain pose. And now put your right leg forward. And come in the warrior pose two. Normal breathing. Now inhale. Exhale. Put both your hands on the ground. The right leg at the back. Once again, in the 
plank pose. Breathe it out. Come down. Relax. Breathe in. And cobra pose. Breathe out. Mountain pose. Now put your left leg forward and come in the warrior pose. Normal breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Put your hands on the ground, the left leg at the back. Plank position. Come down. Normal breathing. Relax. Breathe in. In the cobra pose. Breathe out. Mountain pose. Look at your belly button. Inhale and exhale. Three times. Inhale, put your right and then the left leg forward. Touch your toes, breathe out, breathe in, bend your knees. It's like an awkward chair pose and breathe out. We repeat. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in and breathe out, relax, breathe in, breathe out, normal breathing. Inhale, exhale, inhale and exhale and relax. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, normal breathing. Inhale, put your right leg forward, left leg forward, exhale, inhale, exhale. And now we do the last time. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, normal breathing,
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Normal breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Relax. Inhale. Exhale. Look at your belly button. Inhale and exhale. Three times. Inhale, put your right leg forward, left leg forward, exhale, touch your toes, inhale in awkward pose, awkward chair pose, and, and exhale. So now, Aishi, you can join me please, we will do together standing pose, so relax with your Feet apart, your arms at the side. And now come to Stiti. We do Ard Chakrasan. So put your hands at the back. We repeat this three times. So breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. The last time, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So now we do Padhastasana. And uh, while we are doing Padhastasana, we will be also showing garland pose. So both the easy variation. When we are, in which we will use the block to sit. So, Padastasana. Raise your arms from the side up. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly come down. Remain in this pose for a while. Observe your breathing. With your stretched arms up, slowly come up and breathe out. Show one more time Padhastasana with your side like this so that one can see how you are bending it. So, this is just be there. 
So this is the correct way of bending from the lower part of your body and now you bend down. Very good. And inhale and slowly come up. And exhale. So now come, turn. So for guarded pose, I'll just first explain and then we will do it. So what we normally do is very easy. We do like this and we come in this pose. Remain here for a while. But many of you might not be able to put the feet flat on the floor. So you can either be on your toes or if it's still difficult, then you can use the block and sit in the beginning like this. Then when we come, put your hands together on the floor and once again come in Padastasana and so Aishi you can show the easy variation while sitting on the block and I will show the little advanced. So your legs should be apart. And now gently bend your knee and come in this pose. Remain in this pose for a while with normal breathing. Padrasthasana, you will be together. Stretch your arms forward. Inhale. Exhale. Relax. Now we do the Parshva Kon Asan, which you can do it. And Parivrata Parshva Kon Asan. So for this, very good. Come in the warrior pose. One. Good. And now put your right hand parallel outside. Line. Remain in this pose for a while. Inhale and come up. Very good. Exhale. Do the other side. Remain in this pose for a while. Inhale and slowly come up. Exhale. And come in steady. Now I'll be showing the Simpler variation of Parivrata Parshvakon Asan. So for this, we go in the warrior pose. One. 
with normal breathing. And then the left elbow comes right here and come in the prayer pose. Normal breathing. And now, you will come up and we do the other side. Remain in this pose for a while. Take support and come up and come in steady. Inhale and exhale two or three times. Now we do the balancing pose that is Natraj pose and it's also called dancing pose. So for this, you can also try Ayushi like this. With normal breathing. You have to little turn forward. Yeah, good. And now do the other side. See, first you have to look at me and then you practice like this and then turn forward. Slowly come in Vajrasan as we begin the sitting poses. So sit in Vajrasan and we do the third variation like put the fist on your stomach like this. Inhale, exhale and bend forward till your hip touches the ground. Remain in this pose for the life. Inhale and slowly come up. And exhale. Once again, in Vajrasana. So today we do the third variation of camel pose. Yesterday, if you remember, Ayushi did it like this. And uh, so today what will happen that once we do like this, so instead of touching the right heel, we are touching the left. Okay? So like this and then we do it like this. Okay? So you start. Very good. And now the other side. Slowly 
still you come back. And now we do Satali Asan. So what we have to do is the right leg. We bend like this and the right foot goes against your upper thigh, left. And just simply we bend forward on the right thigh like this and relax. Slowly come up. Inhale. Exhale. Change the position so that we can do the left side. This calms your mind and relaxes. So just relax in this pose. Remain there for a while. Concentrate on your breathing. Just observe your breath, how you're breathing in and breathing out. Inhale and slowly come up. Now just stretch your right leg forward. We do the Janu Shirsasana. So raise your arms, inhale and exhale, bend forward and try to touch your head or your nose to your right knee. Good. Remain in this pose. Inhale and slowly come up. Exhale. To the other side. I should just watch. When you do like this, inhale and exhale. Try to touch your toes and make your arms as your liver and then use your core muscles, breathe in and breathe out like this. Breathe in and come up. Breathe out. Some of you might find difficult to do this. You can use the cushion and put it under your knee like this. Or whichever way, if you want comfortable, you can put it on the top. And then you can very easily bend forward. This also you can do like this and bend forward. So it's also an easy way in the beginning we can do. And now you will show the cat breathing. So come in Vajrasana. And now do the cat breathing five times. Very good, breathe in, breathe out. So when you breathe in, your stomach muscles are relaxed. When you breathe out, your stomach muscles gets contracted. Breathe in, breathe out. 
breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, and the last time breathe in and breathe out. Now relax in Shashankasan. We will be doing two asanas one after another like Shashankasan and Bhujangasan. That's we call it Shashank Bhujangasan. So from Shashankasan straight you will come to Cobra pose. So do like that. Breathe in and breathe out and come to Shashank pose. Breathe in, breathe out chest and once again breathe in and breathe out Shashankasana. So breathe in, put your chest, breathe out, breathe in, Cobra pose and breathe out Shashank. Repeat two more times, breathe in. Breathe out and now breathe in, breathe out and the last time breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out and from this pose we begin all the prone postures. So now relax in Makarasana. This time we do a little differently. You cross your hands to back, your feet apart. Relax in this pose. And now from here we go to Dhanurasana. So come in Sthiti first. And do Dhanurasana. Bend both your legs. Now inhale and come up. Exhale, go down. Repeat four times. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out and the last time breathe in, breathe out. Now we do the supine postures. So relax in Makarasana. So now we begin the supine postures. We start with Khandhar Asana. This also we will do the second variation. So what is very important is that the feet should be shoulder length, should be breadth. so wide as your shoulders and your heels should be just next to your buttocks. And when you breathe in, raise your buttocks up and simultaneously your both arms go over your head at the back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And the last time, inhale. Exhale. Now we do Pavan Muktasan. So your palms should be facing the ground. And we do the rotation of legs today. So with five times clockwise and five times anti-clockwise. First with your right leg. So inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and the last time, inhale, exhale. Now we do the anti clockwise. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and the last time inhale and exhale. We do with the left leg now. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Anti clockwise, breathe in. Breathe out, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and the last time, inhale, exhale. You can bend both your legs, cross your fingers. And try to roll from side to side to give a nice massage to your back. And now, Aishi, you please show Halasan. Halasan or the flow pose. Concentrate on your breathing, how you are breathing in and breathing out. Raise your shoulders and your chest 
and put the crown of your head on the ground. Both the feet should be stretched. Close your eyes and just do the normal breathing. And slowly come back. Fish pose improves your lung capacity as more and more oxygen gets inside your lungs. And now we start. But before pranayam, we will do Shavasana. So lie down in Shavasana. Turn to the right side. Then come in the sitting pose. We begin. Pranayam. Today we will do in Vajrasana Pranayam. This helps to Keep your back straight. So automatically if you are in this pose, your back will be always straight. Today we are doing Bhastrika Pranayam and we are doing Anurom Vilom Pranayam. Bhastrika is little different from Kapalabhati. In Kapalabhati we are doing active breathing out and passive breathing in. Here we are doing both active breathing in and breathing out. We will do three rounds and each round will be of 10 counts. So either you can put your hands on your stomach or you can be in Chin Mudra, whichever way you can be. And we do Bhastrika Pranayam. So we begin. Sometimes it's also easy to put your hands on your stomach to see your abdomen movement. Like when you are breathing in, the stomach is coming out and when you are breathing out, your stomach is going inside. So let's do it one more time like this. So 10, 10 counts. So in Anurom Vilom Pranayam, what we do is that we breathe in from the left nostril and breathe out from the right and breathe in from the right and breathe out from the left. So this is one round, we will be doing nine rounds and mostly the count is like uh, 
we do four like in the mind you can count like equal in the beginning we do equal anuloma rudra means that if we do the four counts of breath here and we don't hold but we just do the two counts here mentally and then four counts we breathe out and the same we breathe in and then breathe out but slowly what happens in anuloma rudra pranayam is that the inhalation we do and the exhalation is more like if we do four counts of inhalation we do six counts of exhalation and then it starts getting getting doubled like four then it becomes eight for example if we do six here inhalation it goes 12 so like this but today we are doing just simple anurom vilom pranayam and the mudra is aishi will be doing with the, her first finger and the middle finger on the middle of the eyebrows and she'll be using the ring finger and the thumb to manage the closing and opening of her right and the left nostril i'll be doing it a different like folding the first and the middle finger like this and then we close and the left hand in the chit mudra so inhale from the left close your left exhale from the right inhale from the right exhale from the left we do it eight more rounds so inhale exhale 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 last round inhale exhale inhale exhale and chin mudra we end the yoga session by saying three times om inhale oh
Thank you for joining our yoga session.